Dear friends, an important moment has come, the announcement of the results of creative contests, which are traditionally held within the framework of the Congress. These are international contests dedicated to Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, poetic, artistic, and this year, for the first time, we also embrace the musical contest. Our participants, the participants of this creative event, arrived in Nizhny Novgorod today. And now we would like to invite them here to this stage. Please welcome our dear friends, Mirgan of Alexandra, the city of Kostroma, Verakina Tatiana, the city of Velikina Puliva, Romana Vagilena, the city of Veronish, and Zhukova Natalia, the city of Moscow. Our participants of the poetry contest who came here to meet with us in person, let us welcome and congratulate them. And now please uh, applause from the entire hall. Dear friends, now we are happy to grant the diplomas to our contest finalists. And of course, now I would like to ask some uh, questions. Well, could you tell us, do you participate in such event for the first time? Hello, everyone. Yes, it is actually my first time. And do you know who Yelena Petrovna Blavatsky is? Or you participating and coming here just happened to you by mere chance? Well, it was not by chance. As a matter of fact, I am a historian by education, and even though at the moment my professional activity does not relate to my diploma, I am an artist, grew up in the family of dancers, and I am a choreographer myself. I have always loved historical literature. The books have been my best friends ever since I was a university student. That's why I'm inclined to believe that Helena Petrovna Blavatsky books came to me on purpose. I am at the beginning of my path, I guess, and it is a great honor for me to be here, to attend the lectures and see those wonderful presentations. For me, it means growth. It is self-discovery. It is a look inside. Thank you for this invitation and this unique opportunity. We thank you very much. Thank you so much. And probably the my, the most important goal which the Congress was uh, facing, we have fulfilled. Participants of the creative contests are interested when they show such an understanding that your perception of Yelena Blavatka's work applauds uh, to all of you. Tiziana uh, Varadkina from the city of Rikida Dilova. It's the correct pronunciation, such a beautiful name. Where is your city located? It is a town in the Orehova uh, region. It is a town which is famous for making buses and force lane. You are so active. Tamara took part both in our Swedish contest as well as uh, in our art competitions. So what motivated you to come to Nivinovgorod? Why didn't you stay there in the Nova? I was motivated by my younger daughter. She suggested that I uh, would participate in this contest, though I have been familiar with Ilana Blavatska's work since the 1980s. And the circumstances were such that today I found out that I have been writing poetry for more than 30 years, which are uh, similar uh, somewhat uh, to this doctrine and this topic out in many of my poems. Applause, thank you so much. I will never forget this. A beautiful city, a beautiful poet, thank you so much. Alexander from the city of Kostroma, Vidis. How was your trip to Nizhny Novgorod? How do you feel? How did you manage to sit here during all these hours? Are you still alive? Good evening. Oh, once again, thank you. It is a pleasure to see these beautiful faces and we got so much new information. I believe all our lives happened not by chance and Yvonne Blavatsky was one of those 
who said all our lives is not for nothing. It comes uh, from God. And uh, people in Russia who are so intelligent, it's not possible to know the name of Milena Blavat. Especially during the last 20 or 30 years, she has been one of the most popular intellectuals. And the theory, the science, which has been discussed okay, all day long, is very popular. I currently live in Moscow. I used to live in Vladimir. It just so happened. So I represent here not only Kostroma, but basically all of Russia. Though I was born in Uzbekistan, I lived in Belarus, I studied in Leningrad, I used to live in Yashkarola, in Mariel, in a number of areas and regions. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is how the spirit travels, and this is how the form is manifested. Greetings, thank you for having come. Applause to you. Yelena. Yelena from the city of Voronezh. In 2020, we held the fourth international congress uh, during the pandemic time, and Rospotrebnadzov permitted us. It was an incredible miracle. How did you find out about the congress? I know that we were not at the Voronezh Congress, but now that two years have passed, you are here in Nizhny Novgorod. Can you tell us the secret? Good evening. Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you very much to all the guests for this uh, wonderful activity, for the opportunity to show us in this creative contest. I found out about this just quite recently. But I have been familiar with Yelena Vlavatska's work for quite a while. But I managed to come and take part personally only now. I write poetry, I sing. I'm a creative person, I paint. So I decided to take part. Thank you once again for the supporting. Thank you so much. Well, we have fulfilled all the purposes. Thank you. And the seventh Congress, which will take place in 2023, there will be nothing to speak about. People will know everything. People will come are familiar with the secret doctrine and they will tell us how they started it. And we will just listen. Thank you so much. Bravo. Congratulations. Congratulations from all our heart. Dear friends, we continue the ceremony of uh, issuing the awards. The International Art Contest. Participants from the countries Romania, Finland, Belarus, uh, Austria, Israel, Moldova, the Russian Federation, Vor Vor Voronezh, Kurgan, Likindidov, Volgograd, St. Petersburg, Yekaterinburg, Kalinan, Kaliningrad, Salikov, Vesyagonsk, Ufa, Kazan, Barnau, Pushkin, Vitebsk, Term, Izbar, Yalta, Voronezh. Morinok, Mormons, Kirov, Neftekant, Chiboksari, Ostomak, Kern, Rizan, Rostov on the Don, Slavard, Nabrizhne, Chilne, Moscow, Tafiev, Izbar, Timen, Timferov, Kostomak. What's that? You know, I have been reading the names of these cities aloud because each of you have sent your pictures. I believe it's important that you would hear the name of your city announced. The, geom the geography is very fast, and the pictures were so beautiful. Pictures devoted to Elena Blavatska. So, applause to all the cities of the Russian Federation. This year, many institutions have been participating actively. Many creative centers, universities, and academies. This year, participants of the scientific contest the head with St. Petersburg, the Lugansk Republic, Volgograd, Volgograd, the University of Yekaterinburg, Children's Art Studios, Mormons, Kurgan, Hiroz Neptikan, Visit, Yedan, Lovgorod, Kostroma, Timena, Besant, Germany, Moscow, and St. Petersburg. Over 100 participants, over 500 pictures have been presented. 20 
DTA, EA, uh, adults and final finalists. And from these pictures, the International Theosophic Exhibition has been formed. And these are those who have came to the final. This is how the Pontiff Committee chose the winners. So we could pick the winners throughout the world. Participants of the art exhibition devoted to Yelena Blavatka. The winners of the contest have been announced, both adults and children. Adults. The winner is an inhabitant of the city of Kazan. A member of the Union of Artists of Tatarstan and there. And I will announce his name. And now the town is Kapeyev. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your portrait of Milena Blavatka. You do see this amazing work on the screen now. It's Milena Blavatska amongst the symbols. And here is a collection of publication on Milena Blavatska. This is your prayer. And of course, the diploma, the winner. Dear Dipane, could you say a couple of words? I know that you painted this portrait quite a while ago. How did you create it? The symbols. They may be not drawn or painted, but they are created. Did you ever think that you would stand and thousands of people throughout the world would see you here? Well, it is quite unexpected for me. I did not think this could happen. I, it took me more than 10 years then to create, uh, it was more than ago that I created this uh, portrait. As the topic of my divisions are the unity of the world, the laws of creating the world, the teachers of humanity, and the great female beginning. And of course, Yana Blavatska and her work I was familiar with them, and I'm so grateful to her for having selected me. And I wish you and all of you who participated in this creative contest, I wish you to be successful and to move onwards in this area. Thank you so much to you. First of all, thank you so much for everything you said. Thank you for the attention to Yelena Blavatska. So from all of us, uh, we wish you unending creative potential well, uh, potential and willpower in achieving this uh, dream of yours. Applause for the Dalis Kabey of Kazan. Winner of the, the adult competition. Dear friends, so what happened this year that the parties of the jury and the members of the expert council divided. So we had to organize another prize, another witness prize. It is called the prize of uh, the audience witnesses, which is with those to all the Bergman, young painter from St. Petersburg. Let us see her work on this page. Here's the right about in today. Not the single of the audience stayed or they uh, could they uh, unmoved by her pictures. Dear Olga, congratulations to you. You get the prize of uh, mods. We present you a collection publication of the Secret of Fame and the diploma of oh, uh, St. Petersburg. No applause. Among the children's work, the winner quite expected me those. Therefore, the all the fine one picture that we submit. But in this case, it was very hard for us to do this. The art school of the city of Nabirat and Chongren sent a number, a series of children's work. 
middle group, which is called the internal mind. And the teacher was called. And the educator, yeah, I'm never. Esteemed worker of education, was member of the Union of Architects, member of the high category of the Pediatric School of Art, school number six, city of Nadal, Nusulne. Daho. Her. In the names of their children who participated, it is called the Eternal Fund. If children are 10 to 12 years old, the, the S and just to understand that we have life, but the best one is the future of using cinema, time, soul, and eternity. It is one only one. It is hard uh, uh, to uh, not believe that this school is the winner. Immortality is the one case of it. Now there is an actual name. And the present, which upon completion of the Congress and the diplomas and letters on gratitude to the director of the school, go to the city of Nabirzhne Chilne, be a friend, Applause, applause to the whole school, to Nabirzhne Chilne. Thank you so much. Now we have Lilia Shulkatovna. Just please, Lilia Shulkatovna, can you say a few words? We would like to see, to hear you. And of course, we would like to know how could children with such deep topics, like paternity, to your life, how could you prepare children for such deep topics? Hello, dear participants of the conference. Of course, we've been waiting for more than 30 years to have a contest dedicated to a philosophical theme. So I'd like to say thank you to all of the organizers. Finally, we could find likely-minded people and we, of course, would like to continue on fruitful cooperation because uh, the course on history of art is uh, my passion is what I do with my art. When it goes to uh, the works of our winners, it's as simple as between the knowledge our children get from their teachers and of course a part sparkle on their inner thoughts and their ability to express themselves with art, with symbols and paint. Thank you to the jury for giving us such high marks. Thank you. We applaud you and your children. Thank you for raising such future generation. While we have such teachers, we have future. People were waiting for more than 30 years for such a content, so it means that our work has not been in vain. Dear friends, of course, the jury has also generously awarded our smallest participants with audience awards. So our smallest participant is a small girl from India, Lakhnao, Shubra Shukla, who is only five years old. You can see her drawing right now. It's called a child's view of Hindu dreams and devas. She is only five years old. You know, not a single member of the jury or the people who are watching us live were indifferent to this painting. Now we have Shubra Shukla with her parents with us now. Hello to you from Russia, Nizhny We are so happy to see you. Shukha, you're so beautiful. Please tell us how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I am feeling good. I'm doing well. Please tell us what do you know about Russia? I'm 
big country, snows, say something. English man. Say what you feel like to a channel. Hello, Baba. Is it snow there? Say it snows there. It it snows there. Yes, Russia is a snowy country and India doesn't have snow. So, Shukra, when you look at your work, did you dream about anything for you? Uh, did you dream something to make me a little bit of a drawing when I was about it? Same. What you have to say is, yes. Yes. Shukra, please uh, take a look at the audience. We applaud you and congratulate you on the audience prize award. Uh, you will uh, have a gift uh, of an art suitcase that we will send to you to India immediately after Congress. So we congratulate you. Thank you, thank you very much and thanks to your parents to your entire family and country, a great country with great traditions. Now we applaud India. Dear friends, we, an album of paintings done by our participants will be issued, of course, soon. 